Okay, so we want to build this modular system by Mighty Byte. So we want to create this pretty quickly. And we've already made some of the modular components. So let's see how they all work together to produce a very nice and accurate looking collision checking simulation. Okay, so we have the machine. Let's go ahead and turn off the sheet metal and zoom in on the table a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and load in my first fixture, which is going to be, let's do the short, um, the short rail, and I'm going to rotate this 90. And what I can do now is, on top of this, add another fixture. And here I'll grab that stop combo that we just made, and that appears on fixture adapter position number one. And I could change that if I want, but I'm going to go ahead, leave that where it's at, and then back on the original rail, I want to add another piece on this, not on this one. So I'm going to select this rail and then say, let's add a fixture. Because this is what I would do in real life. I would add this to that. I would add the, um, the serrated. Let's go ahead and rotate this one. Looks like negative, negative 90 would keep the logo looking. Uh, toward us for the OK Vice. And you'll notice there's a gap here. This appears at FA2. Uh, not a big deal. We could come in and again, like in real life where I would slide this over, I could pick these two faces, slide it over, and make them mate together. So that looks pretty good. And now what I might want to do is uh, actually move this down maybe one T-slot nut. Now, I don't have anything really that's easy to measure because it's sitting in the middle there, uh, but not a big deal. I'm going to go back to the rail because this is what I want to move because these other two are on top of that, so everything will move just like in real life uh, where I want it to. So I'm just going to go ahead and double-click that to edit it, and I'm going to kind of look at the bottom and grab this face here, and then again, holding control down on my keyboard, I'm going to grab that face in the middle of the bottom of the T-slot and say, align the centers of that. It does move it in Z, but I'll just zero that out again, and it's sitting at the top of the table. And now what I can do is actually just right-click on this guy. And actually, before I do that, let's go ahead and move him. Um, what do I want to do? Let's move this guy like... 14 inches or so. Let's go maybe 15. And then what I'll do is I'll copy this whole assembly. And then on the machine, I'm going to paste it. And then on the second one, which is right on top of the original, actually this is a negative 315, so I could probably just make that a positive. And sure enough, looks like it's sitting right on top of the other T-slot rail. So uh, now we've got a couple of uh, OK Vice rails sitting on the table, I think, where I want them to be. So I can highlight either one of these. It doesn't really matter. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add my workpiece. So here I'm going to add a workpiece, and it looks like it needs to be rotated 90. Um, you know, I'm going to move this up 5 inches just to get it out of the way. And then what I'm going to do... So I'm going to zoom in on one of these teeth, any one of these teeth, rotate around, hold control, grab both faces, have that moved over, bring that back down, and looks like I need to shift this. And I see my vector here is X because we rotated this 90 degrees. So I'm going to move that maybe two inches or so, and it's uh, maybe two and a half do two and a half, and it's fairly centered, close enough for a simulation right now. Um, so right now, uh, we're looking pretty good. We went ahead and uh, did that, and now what I can do is grab one of these and say right click and say copy, and then back to the machine and say paste, and I get a new one. But what I'm going to do on this is I'm going to rotate it uh, 270 and I'm gonna shift him uh, minus let's go minus 15 I don't know where that's gonna bring me a little bit more we'll do minus 20 and then I'll just mate it so I've got this face here that I want to mate with this face 
we'll grab one of these little guys and zoom back out so we can see that happen. And just like in real life, I'll slide that over and we get that and we say okay. And then I'm just gonna right click on this guy and say copy. And I'm gonna right click here and say paste. And now here, yeah, I could just probably put in that negative again and get that other one. And I have built myself a nice looking setup using the, whoop, using the, uh, the uh, Mighty Bytes. So, um, and you, you know, you could add some other stuff here, but it's all modular inside of Esprit. So um, very, very quick and simple to, to build this type of uh, modular simulation. So now any time that I want to use this for, you know, collision checking on a different part or any unique setup that I might have, I can definitely do that. All of this stuff is going to be reusable for any, um, any uh, simulation setup that you want. So, you know, like I was moving everything and sliding this up against that, uh, you know, depending on whatever your stock size is or configurations, we can align these along the X axis, along the Z axis, it doesn't, uh, sorry, along the, the Y axis, it doesn't really matter. So um, hopefully that helps with uh, building some modular fixturing and uh, stay tuned for more videos.